Hello friends, good morning. Today I am going to discuss a very interesting use case or business case where one single warehouse can manage multiple manufacturing facilities. Yes, people will immediately say, yes, it is possible with work center, but no, not a work center, but separate manufacturing order management system in one single warehouse. So the business is about you know, manufacturing dining table or a furniture where dining table will be uh, you know assemble or produce in one warehouse and it's two component like table legs as well as table top will be produced in separate warehouse so uh, this can be tweaked like uh, uh, you know if metal dining table is there then it can be produced in one warehouse wooden will be another and stone will be in another warehouse so that is also possible so let's uh, jump into uh, you know creating uh, the multiple warehouse uh, sorry multiple manufacturing facilities so how to do that so in our uh, you know common inventory operations we have one single warehouse which is you know operation whereby i have enabled three step route currently pick component manufacture and store product so that is what i have right now and now i would like to uh, you know uh, produce different uh, you know dining table in different manufacturing facilities so what we can do now so simply we can first you know create uh, the routes so routes manufacture uh, you know like uh, metal dining table that I am creating first and then I am just duplicating this and creating second operation for <coughs> metal and then wooden and then i am creating metal wooden and stone so these are now three manufacturing route uh, you can see uh, over here which will help me to separate out my manufacturing activity now to support that i have to divide my operation type also Currently, you can see a single operation manufacturing uh, is there, where I can rename as, uh, you know, that is metal. And then I will be creating separate MO1 will be representing this. Okay. Now I will create manufacturing wooden as a separate and then operation type will be manufacturing and sequence will be mo wooden which will create new mo2 will be there so this will create another uh, you know type of operation like this so you can understand this now i will create another manufacturing stone then operation type will be manufacturing then mo stone i'm creating a new sequence mo3 will be there so hereby i have created three separate uh, you know stuff and now with each you know you can see pre and post production is there in metal because i have selected uh, three steps so over here also i will adjust this into pre production and post production likewise in stone also pre-production and post-production so i have divided this but to support all these three now we have to prepare rules also you can see the rules are already created for metal uh, you know then wooden and then stone so let's check it out okay so now here the metal one is there then this particular rule for wooden is also there let us rename this <coughs> okay so to align this let me check again manufacture wh1 stock only route will be metal and operation type will be metal so this is how we can set over here manufacturing then production let me rename it to metal okay so rules is manufacturing metal route is manufacturing metal everything is there 
now rule is wooden then operation type will be wooden The source location is blank so let me keep it wh stock okay so i am just aligning all my uh, type perfectly with this so operation type is metal and everything is there now here is again manufacture in wooden then warehouse one is there and over here I'm creating for stone and changing the operation type to stone and then it is blank and it is WH stock will be the final destination. So this is how I have created a three different you know rules to trigger it out. Now what we will do now we have to uh, prepare our bill of materials so inside product for uh, you know dining table a bill of material is there which is producing metal and over here i will select to produce it to the metal warehouse okay <coughs> so here we can also create a separate manufacturing facilities for uh, producing this legs and top uh, and then for uh, dining table bom if i am duplicating this to produce this for dining table wooden what i will require is <coughs> only wooden so quickly i am going for legs and one table top to produce wooden and this has to be producing wooden warehouse okay so likewise i will create the third one also duplicating this and then changing it to stone removing these parts going quickly into catalog selecting stone four and one and then changing the operation type to stone so it will help me to trigger everything into respective warehouse now you can see all things are you know aligned <coughs> with product variant and all my product is ready and this is only to uh, uh, you know manufacture respectively based on the order so what i will do is i will go to routes and enable my make to order route and then going into product <coughs> and enabling m2 so after uh, doing this now if i want to uh, produce uh, let's say table legs uh, into a separate warehouse we can also uh, create that uh, but for the sake of time uh, let's try to just increase the table legs quantities over here so what i will do i will go to here and then directly i will update quantity on hand for each and every variant so for metal i have thousand unit on hand for wooden thousand unit of hand and then stone thousand unit on hand okay. likewise for table top also i will update the quantity like metal i have 500 for wooden i have 500 pieces and for stone i have 500 pieces already there okay so these are you know directly purchasable and dining table i will keep m2o so after having this let us check i have three manufacturing facilities separately with peak and post and everything is settled and now if uh, let's say i am selling so let me install the sales app so based on the make to order functionality we can launch a production order and then <coughs> after selling it will trigger uh, the production order in respective warehouse so if i am going over here and selling it to customer one customer one is coming to me and let's say he is asking for let's say dining table he is asking for two units and then as soon as i confirm it will release a manufacturing order 
over here for the metal type into this operation type metal so likewise if another customer customer 2 is coming to me and asking for let's say wooden type table and three units and as soon as i confirm this okay it will trigger an mo in the wooden type operation type and so on likewise if customer 3 is coming and asking me for stone type dining table five pieces so over here as soon as i confirm okay so let me check the reference number for stone so i am going into operation types for stone reference sequence is mo3 for wooden mo2 for metal wh1 mo1 is there so let me just reset it to likewise i am doing and creating a sequence so this is also required to separate out the identity of each and every orders we are serving so now sequence are there i'm going into sales and then confirm it will trigger another manufacturing order in the stone type warehouse so now how you can see so inside my inventory you can see three different manufacturing facility will holding three different orders and parallelly uh, uh, you can uh, you know define like how it will going to uh, produce and then get it done so inside your manufacturing orders now you can see like the production analysis or operation type inside the manufacturing order you will have this many order to be done with respective things and then mo readiness are already there available deadline is today because we haven't uh, make any uh, particular lead time for manufacturing so this is how wh1 mo1 is there this series is uh, not in line but mo is there for different different warehouse and you can see all the warehouse are uh, you know producing different tables respectively with different materials in its different type so you can see now when i go to there a transfer is created uh, to pick the component for two like four legs and four tabletop once i validate it will reserve and make it available so likewise if i go to my inventory operation like pick components are there where more two components are required for one for wooden another one for stone as soon as i validate all this thing my amos are ready to go so i'm going into manufacturing and then i can start producing all and likewise the operation type will hold all this thing so over here one is done the second one is also done like wooden one and third one is stone one also done so with this way now i am done with my all the production order and now i will finally go and store my finished product from uh, main production to post production i can mass uh, you know get it validate so all these stocks are now into my inventory and then stock report will hold like dining table two three and five units are already there and with forecast you can see it is reserved against each like sales number one is going to deliver metal one and then this sales number two will be delivering the wooden one and then sales number three will be going to deliver the stone one so this is how we can produce different uh, uh you know items to differently and then i can finally validate and finish my deliveries over here okay so uh, this is how now i think uh, you guys can manage much more thing uh, with separate warehouse this is just an initial uh, particular iteration of 
creating multiple manufacturing units within one single warehouse and separating each and every bill of material uh, with finished product with its uh, separate route and trigger that out. So hope uh, this iteration will help many people to create multiple manufacturing facilities within single warehouse and dividing it with operation type and rules and then routes and then you can trigger respectively. We can have uh, a more iteration based on uh, production valuation also in stock material also because now I have separate warehouses, uh, so separate, sorry, separate manufacturing facilities over here. Hope uh, this iteration may help many people to, you know, streamline their single warehouse manufacturing facilities uh, inside Odoo. Thank you guys. If you have any question, please reach out to me via YouTube channel or LinkedIn. Good day. Bye.